For 70 years, the NHS has been one of the best healthcare systems in the world. We've advanced the treatment of many different conditions, embraced innovation and new technology. We've worked with local authorities, community planning partners and the voluntary sector to improve public health and promote healthier lifestyles. Modern treatment and care means that people survive diseases and conditions that used to be fatal. People today live longer. What we need to do now is to help them live healthier as well. As health and social care shifts towards the management of long-term conditions and disabilities, Scotland, like other countries, is struggling to keep pace with demand. To continue to provide the best possible health and social care for the people of Ayrshire and Arran, we'll need to change. We will need to use our existing resources better, rearrange how we organise our services, and transform how people access them and use them. We need to help people better understand how and when they should use health and social care services and to support them with information and advice so that they can choose what's best for them to get the right treatment and care delivered by the right person at the right time in the right place. Not everything we are doing will be new. We'll also need to continue to avoid unnecessary hospital admissions. And when people do need hospital care, make sure that they are only there for an appropriate amount of time. As soon as it's safe to do so, we should enable people to return home and to live independently in their homes for longer. To work towards these goals, health and social care services in Ayrshire and Arran are changing. The Caring for Ayrshire programme aims to deliver the Scottish Government's vision for safe, effective and person-centred health and social care. To fully integrate services, support staff to continue to provide the best possible treatment and care and deliver better outcomes for everyone. To do this, we'll need everyone working together. The Health Board and the three local authority areas, Health and Social Care Partnerships, Independent Health and Social Care Contractors, and importantly, local voluntary and community services. We will also engage in the wider network in the west of Scotland and the national network. In the future, we may see more services move from acute hospitals into the community, where we'll be able to help people manage their long-term conditions better. We may see some specialist services being provided in a small number of locations. While this would mean that some people will travel a bit further for complex treatment and care, we'll be able to do more in fewer appointments, diagnose people and start treatment sooner. Continuing this process of bringing together expertise, innovation and technology, we will be able to build on the number of procedures that are now day cases, that once required a lengthy period of recovery, reducing the average hospital stay and minimising the disruption to people's lives. The Caring for Ayrshire programme can't succeed without your help. We need your feedback in order to create a system for everyone. To build a health and social care system designed around you, we need to hear your experience, views and opinions. So come and get involved, have your say and help us care for Ayrshire www.nhsaaa.net slash caring for airship.